Hi guys, I want to review daily homework page number 114 right now. Okay, so let's start off by putting your name. Today's date is April 9th. And we'll sign it with our best cursive writing. Oh, I think that's my best anyway. All right, we have a subtracting question to start us off. 1,342 minus 1,278. Um, I'm going to use just a stacking method for this, and we'll do some borrowing if we have to. 1342 minus 1278. First of all, I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, well, about what is the answer going to be? And if I look, I have 1,000 minus 1,000. So uh, the, I know it's going to be out of the thousands and into the hundreds. So then I have 300 minus 200, so that's in the 100s. Uh, it's going to be less than 100 because this is... 40 and minus 70, so that's going to be, it's going to be less than 100. That's what I'm going to know with my answer in the end. So now let's go to the steps here. So I'm going to go all the way over to the ones place. It's 2 minus 8, so I'm going to borrow from here. This uh, 4 tens is going to become 3 tens. I'm going to give a 10 over to the ones place. So since I'm adding 10, this 2, 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, so 12 minus 8 is 4. Now I have 3 minus 7 actually three tens minus seven tens. It's actually 30 minus 70. Uh, so I'm gonna take 100 from here. So this 300 is now gonna become 200, and I'm gonna add 100 onto the tens place. Right? That becomes 130, or 13 tens. Okay? So now I have 13, take away seven, that gives me six. So I have 64, and then this is 200 minus 200, which is nothing, and 100, or sorry, 1,000 minus 1,000, which is also nothing. So all I'm left with is 64. So my answer is 64. And I said it was going to be less than 100, so it makes sense. Uh, number two says 17 times 10. Well, remember, 17 times 1 would be 17. So 17 times 10, I've moved the... Uh, the one over to the tens place, so I need my answer to move over by a place value too. So my 17 becomes 170. Uh, I want to know the standard form of this number, 19,064. So the 19,000 would start off with like this. 19,000 would look like this. Right. Now 19,064, I'd be looking for next for what goes in the hundreds place. And you can see there's nothing there. That means there's a zero in the hundreds place. The next one says 60. So that means that there's a six in the tens place. And then the four goes in the ones place. So 19,064 is 19064. You might notice I put a little space here. That's how we space them so that they're easier to read. So our first three place values, the ones, tens, hundreds, go together, we put a space, and then we go thousands, ten thousands, and if we had more, we'd go hundred thousands, then we do another space, and so on. Number four says shade in one eighth of this circle. So once again, this eight means how many total parts of the uh, circle we're going to need. Remember that the parts need to be the same. Now, uh, when we go half to a quarter, we can just split them in half, so we can go, here's half, and then we can make the quarter, we can split it this way, and we still have all our parts even. Then to go to eights, I can split each of the four left over one more time. That means that I have eight equal spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't always do this, but when it works really nice with halves, uh, quarters, and eighths. And if we went to sixteenths or thirty seconds, whenever we're splitting, uh, we're doubling the amount of spaces, we can just split each space in half. Uh, it asks us to do one eighth, so, or to shade in one eighth, so any eighth would do. I'm going to choose this one right here. Nicely shade in that space right there. All right, let's get to that last question. It says, Eric's friends came over to his house at 10.30 Saturday morning. They stayed until 3.30 Sunday afternoon. How many, or sorry, how long in hours did Eric's friends stay? 
So for me, the easiest way to do this one is to re remember that we have 24 hours in a day. So from Saturday morning, I'm gonna just draw it as kind of a timeline. We have Saturday morning, make a line, until they were picked up Sunday afternoon, how long is it gonna be? So it starts off at 10.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and like I say, I'm gonna do a full 24 hours to take me to Sunday morning. I don't know where that will be, about here. That'll take me till 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. That's 24 hours right there. Now, they stayed longer because they were all the way to uh, 3.30 on Sunday, 3.30 p.m. And for me, I'm just going to just count the hours just on my fingers. So do 11.30 a.m., 12.30 would become p.m., uh, 1.30 p.m., 2.30 p.m. and 3.30 p.m., I have five hours. Let's just double check that I did that, right? Still does this to me, guys, this smart board, where it just changes the size of the pen sometimes. Let's just double check that it, that is five hours from 10.30 to 3.30. So 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, right? Five hours. So now we have 24 hours plus five hours, which would give us 29 hours total. I'm just gonna put a square around that so that we're clear on that. Okay guys, don't forget to do your Lexia for 10 to 20 minutes, and also don't forget to write down what you read. All right, have a good rest of your day.